Hey everyone, welcome to this video. I thought today I might just have like a little bit of a catch up with you guys. So uh, I'll introduce here what, what I'm racing so you guys know what you're looking at. This is the, I think the actual uh, very, very last of the campaign races, like the last one that you do. Um, I actually have one more to go. There's like a half hour endurance and then I've done all of the campaign races so far. So that'll be good. Um, and I'm driving the SLS AMG GT3. So it's Nürburgring 24 hour, four laps. However, I think I'm just going to show you guys the first lap because I don't intend to talk for a full half hour. <laughs> so it's just the first lap, uh, but it's pretty cool. You know, some nice racing against the AI and it's at sunset, so it looks pretty cool. I really like the lighting here. And then I ended up spending like an hour taking photos and sharing them and spamming everyone's uh, activity feed with pictures of the SLS going around Nürburgring so if you're on my friends list uh, I apologize I do apologize but hopefully you like the photos I think there were some really cool ones in there anyway so yeah I just kind of thought it might be nice to to hang out you know just have a little chat see what's happening you guys can understand um well, what it is I'm doing at the moment I guess and some other things some thoughts about Gran Turismo Maybe we'll go with thought on the thoughts of Gran Turismo first of all. So I was thinking about this whole uh, like ranking system, like the sportsmanship rankings, ratings, sportsmanship ratings, that's the one. Because um, like a lot of people obviously are getting these problems where like someone's just like done them dirty and destroyed them and smashed them off the course or punted them off the end of a corner or just like been a horrible person to them all race or whatever and yet somehow they they haven't been penalized or even like the sportsmanship rating doesn't register negatively or things like that you know some because i was saying in a previous video you could like punt someone off destroy their race but if you have a really nice race the rest of the time you'll still actually overall probably still be a blue sr at the end of the race so kind of a couple of problems like that so one thing that I kind of thought they could do, and as someone has actually commented this as well, but I, I kind of was thinking about it already, is they could do something along the lines of, of Overwatch, which is the thing that Counter-Strike Source has. So if someone's griefing or hacking or abusing other players or whatever it might be, you can report them in-game, basically. And then I, I guess it requires a certain number of reports before it actually goes, gets sent to someone. I don't know the internal workings of it, but uh, basically the idea is you report someone for, say, hacking, or, you know, in this case, you report someone as like a, you could say it's like a steward's inquiry or something, you know, for punting you off. And then that gets sent to, say, like, I don't know, 10 people will get sent this report. And then you, those 10 people can then watch a clip or of the replay or whatever, and they could watch it back. And then at the end, it would say, like, yes, this person was being a dick or whatever it might be. And then they might get, like, a massive chunk taken off of their SR or... I don't know. I don't know what you could give someone as a penalty for doing that. But, like, that is possible. But, see, here's the problem with that. Because if you, if you do that, then you're going to have like a million reports like there's no way you're going to be able to get through it because like crashes are in every race and there's like you know uh, at least 10 20 races a day whatever like there's no way that even the community at large would be able to handle the amount of reports that would come in from stuff like that so i really don't know what the best system is but i certainly think something along those lines like could be really cool um i'd certainly be like up for just chilling and like watching back stuff that people have reported but i just i don't think that would work but i don't know it's kind of a cool a cool idea and the other thing we've got to all remember like it's super important is i know the game is fully released but this whole online season thing is still like being worked on because obviously you can't really test this whole kind of like matchmaking thing fully and whatever else so i guess they're still doing test seasons you know so all of this is they're gathering data and they will hopefully put out something even better as time goes on as far as that goes anyway that's enough about gran turismo i, I want to quickly tell you guys kind of like what i'm doing so i've been posting around maybe a video every three well it depends sometimes two days up to like four days apart like I am doing my best to make videos for you guys. I really, really have been enjoying being back and making the videos. So um, that's really good. 
Uh, there's a couple of things that kind of impede that. The first one is that at the moment I'm working like full time. Actually, in the run up to Christmas, I have literally no days off at the moment. But um, I, like I do work a lot um, and I'll get home from work at, you know, five, six, sometimes seven, whatever it might be. And then yeah, you just kind of like I run out of time. And obviously I've got other friends that I like playing games with and stuff. I've been playing a bit of Destiny 2 a lot lately, a bit of player unknown battlegrounds and Obviously, I like to play um, Gran Turismo as well, and I have to play it to get the footage as well. So, like, I, I to make a video, say, like, every day, like, I know some of the bigger YouTubers just make a lot of videos, and I'd love to be able to do that, but I, unless it just becomes lower quality, really, um, then there's no way that I can do that. And I like to maintain a standard, um, and I hope you guys see that in my videos. I'd like to think you guys see that in my videos, so I do want to try and maintain that. Um, so, but there's just no way that with all, you know, with the amount of work that I've got on that I can also produce a, a quantity of videos at that same level of quality. So, yeah, I hope you guys are, are enjoying the videos so far since I've been back. I've certainly, as I said, been enjoying making them. Um, and then the next thing is kind of like over Christmas. So, obviously, I, well, maybe, maybe not obviously. I don't, I, I like rent a room, basically. I'm like a lodger in someone's house, so I... I have all my gaming stuff here, um, my PC and my PlayStation and everything along those lines. But I'm going to be at my parents' house for Christmas, so I need um, my computer will be coming with me because I actually have work to do. I'm like I have work to do on the computer whilst I'm like at Christmas, so to speak. So the idea is that I maybe will be able to take my wheel and PlayStation, maybe I don't know, um, and just hook it all up there over the sort of a week or so of Christmas, week or two of Christmas, and and get a couple of videos out. Alternatively, I might do a bit of racing and and whatnot. I've got all the footage, obviously, still from the driving school stuff, which I do want to keep making. I know I've sort of stopped on those for the time being, but I do want to actually finish all of those. So it might be that I just get a whole bunch of footage and then um, take a break from the game over Christmas but actually put a couple of videos together for you guys to watch whilst you're all having some downtime. I imagine everyone has a little bit of downtime over Christmas. So uh, yeah, I might try and <clears throat> at least get a couple of videos out to you but we'll, we'll see how that goes and yeah, but you guys let me know as well. Like always really, really good to read feedback i i do my best to read like pretty much every single comment the only time i'll miss a comment is basically if youtube doesn't send it to me like it's kind of weird how youtube does it now so it gives you a notification if someone makes a comment but like then once a video becomes older or like if lots of people are commenting rapidly say for example when a video just comes out it will just send you one notification for a comment on one video rather than like five on one or something it's kind of strange so then you have to go into the community tab and then look at all the comments and then I don't know it's like it's quite tricky to keep on top of so but I do try and sometimes like because I know that it's a bit bad like that I'll literally go onto the video and click on all comments and just scroll through them so I can read because I do like reading them like genuinely and, and I I want to try even as the channel grows which it has grown immensely like I think I've gotten a thousand subscribers just literally and since I've restarted reposting which is amazing and thank you guys so much for sort of following the channel um, but you know I, I want to keep that and no matter how big it gets and I don't know how big it will get probably not massive but I do want to sort of maintain that um, level of uh, commitment to you guys so always always leave a comment and, and leave a rating if you enjoy the video I think that's all for now guys I do hope you enjoyed the race I bloody love this game it looks absolutely gorgeous um, as always do leave a comment and I'll, I'll see you guys soon so have a good one oh Quick note as well, on a completely random note, I'm selling my old G27, so if you want the famous Oink 83's uh, G27 racing wheel, you can find that on eBay now, I'm pretty sure my username is just Oink 83 or something, so I'm sure you'll be able to find it. Anyway, if anyone's really interested in a, in a G27, you can go find that. Cheers guys, bye.